Hi, I'm Kip Bradford, and I'm here on behalf of Expert Village. In this clip, we're going to talk about gain structure. And the question is, we've shown you all the different places we can increase the volume of our signal flow. And um, where do we take it? Where do we maximize that? Because we can turn the volume up at the power amp, at the faders, at the master out, at the channel fader, at the preamp, at the EQ um, gain, and, and even with our compressor. So where do we start to work that in. And it's very important because if you do it the wrong way, which most people do it the wrong way, you end up amplifying the floor noise or the signal to noise ratio, the, bottom, the, the noise that's in the basement of all of our electronics. You amplify that a little bit. Start, of course, by hooking up all of your electronics so that your, your entire system is hooked up properly. And then what I like to do is either leave my power amplifier off or turn it most of the way down. Now, in this particular one, we have a minus 30 gain, so even with it on, we're still going to get a signal. So I'll turn this all the way down because I don't want, when I'm setting up my gain structure, my amplifiers to become too loud. Secondly, move the channel faders either to unity or above. Set your master fader to either unity or minus 5. Then and you'll have to do this for each channel that you're going to use, then take your preamplifier and make sure that all of your EQs are set to unity, meaning that they are not boosting or cutting anything, and um, take your gain or your trim that we talked about, and you'll increase that until the clip light on your mixing board uh, clips, and then roll it off 5 to 10 percent, just to the point where it stops clipping. Now what's important to do is you do this to every channel that you're going to use and you also do it with the most aggressive uh, portion of your program material. So you tell the band if you have a song you scream, I want you screaming in here because if they do a ballad, when they get to the screaming you're going to end up clipping after all. Once you've finished setting your preamplifier so that it is just below clip, then at your power amplifier you can go and begin to turn the volume up at the power amplifier until the room is comfortable. And now if you're using a portable system, sometimes you may have it all the way up, sometimes half the way up, because it's all dependent on the size of your room. And that's the quick and simple way to set up your gain structure.